What the heck? Gage, what are you doing? So in this universe, there seems to be two different types of men. Men who simp Ariana Grande, me, and men who simp Billie Eilish, Robbie 09. And now there's another secret one that we don't really talk about. It's the men who simp the OK Boomer girl. Now you don't hear these guys much because once once they admit that they're a simp for her, they are banished to Garatina's chaotic distortion world. And guys, if I ever catch you simping the OK Boomer girl, uh, it's over. It's over. Unsub to this channel because you're a retard. But in this video today, we're gonna be talking about the love of my life, Ariana Grande. Welcome to the first episode of Sim. Saturdays episode one now Ariana Grande and I we kind of go way back we actually went to high school together you know we we were boyfriend and girlfriend for a little while like we we met in the hall in like third grade you know I gave her uh, uh like one of those ring pops right and then I fingered her in the back guys I'm not gonna lie this video is straight shit post I don't why are you guys even watching this I am such a simp for Ariana Grande though that I was simping her before simp was even the word was even thought of okay Okay, the word simp wasn't even on the urban dictionary. I'm the master simp. Do you guys remember that time where that one old guy won the ticket to get a VIP ticket with Taylor Swift and then Taylor Swift decided that she didn't want to be around that guy because uh, be, because if she felt really creepy? Well, that'd prob probably be the same situation with Ariana Grande and I. She would think some 14-year-old little girl probably won the ticket, but then this big burly-looking gorilla-ass hairy man, uh, she would be calling the security very fast. But no joke, before coronavirus started, I actually had this plan i think ever since september of 2019 starting on january 1st i was gonna tweet at ariana grande every single day and ask her to go to prom with me but at the time i was talking to um talking to a girl so i decided not to do that because i was thinking hey maybe uh maybe i'd end up going to prom with that girl well first of all i don't even talk to that girl anymore second of all prom never happened in the first place are you no ariana grande i remember when quarantine first started and i was about to like start doing the online thing every day because they said we would come back in May and I was like there's no way we're going back in May so you know what I I could have potentially went to prom with Ariana Grande I'd probably, you know, rent a Lamborghini for the night you know we'd have the time of our life uh, I'd, I'd take her uh, out to a uh, nice place I'd take her out to Mickey D's share a little vegetarian burger mm -hmm. and then I'd, I'd whisper I'd, I'd lean over I'd whisper in here and like hey baby you want to go home with me tonight? And then she'd be like, mmm, nerd period. Of course I want to go home with you. Because that's typically what all the girls do when I seductively ask them if they want to go home with me tonight. And then I'd take her home. And then I'd, I'd be like, hey, girl, uh, come come slide in the room, baby. And then I'd bring out my Pokemon card collection. And I, I'd show her everything, give her the history and detailed background of each card and why I, I personally love that card so much. Um, Yeah, we'd, ha we'd, have, we'd have a great time. And then after I'm done showing her every Pokemon card, I would, you know, safely drive her back to her two-star motel that I'm paying for in my rented Lamborghini. You know, it would be, it would be a pretty wicked night. Hey girl, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> but yes, guys, I am a simp. Um, it is true that I know a lot of people have tried to expose me, uh, specifically, you know, Robbie 09 calling me out for simping several girls and also not the real Riley. I mean, he did expose me. This video is exposing the secrets of nerd, of this corrupt hair Harry man, who I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure he is Bigfoot. How am I supposed to deny it, a comment like that? The day was April 4th, 2020. Nerd starts up his podcast, mentions his last podcast. For just for this segment, we're going to call the last podcast the I Need to Eat podcast. And the one that I'm talking about right now, the Nerd Rant podcast. So he gets a podcast with one of his guests. The guest wanting to be, of course, on the podcast, damns him. He gets on the podcast, they're talking, and all of a sudden the guy says, hey, I need to eat. Nerd ends the podcast he starts up a new one and he's talking about the guest and he's like i don't even know why i put him on here okay okay listen it was very rude i don't even care if kim jong-un was knocking at my door wanted to say hi to me because he saw he was a big fan of my sucky sucky over kim john il's funeral video and he, you know he's saying he's a big fan if i'm in the middle if i'm in a podcast with another youtuber and i said i would be there it doesn't matter i would stay there 
and he's like, I don't even know why I put him on here. He just left to eat. I don't know why he couldn't just eat on stream. So if we put this clip together, he's basically saying he hates his fan. He hates all of his fans, obviously. He obviously hates them all. And he never wants another fan on the guest because, of course, he hates them all because, you know, they had to eat. He hates them all. All of them. In conclusion, he just hates his fans. Obvious. I would just like to say, uh, he doesn't even watch my videos. And one time he called me up and literally said, I don't watch your videos anymore because they're terrible. Fuck the fans, bro. You know what? You know what? Fuck all the fans. I, I never wanted you guys. I never wanted it. I never wanted the fame that came with YouTube, all right? I just wanted to make, you know, small videos that get 10 views, okay? And then I had to blow up. Now I'm getting a million views per video. I can't even live life anymore. I go out in public. Pe people show up at my house knocking at my door and asking if they can meet Nerd Period to my mom. Okay? Somehow somebody found my address, leaked it. I can't believe it, guys. Fuck the fan. I just broke my headphones even more. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this highly autistic video. Um, If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and comment who you simp, all right? Is it Billy? Is it Ari? Or are you a disgusting, okay, boomer girl? Comment one of them and if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications So you can be notified for the next Fuck 11 days of 14 days of nerd period day four. We're going on strong. Thank you so much for everybody for watching we're, we're doing this good. We're doing this good this time. Anyways guys. Thank you so much for watching and I love you all and peace